Ladies and gentlemen, the Ivet Gamer Services now back in platform one and today we are doing a, another Railworks race. Yes, we are starting back off with one of those and I am back with my uh, good friend Jack from Jawwood. Hello, I've had a name change since we last did this, not in real life. That's in uh, in the YouTube world. I have had a name change. Yes, he's gone from LMR fan six hundred. Was prior? Was it? it? Was it was a bit more professional. The uh, Jalwood name. <laughs> so this is a uh, an interesting. Uh, well. This was something we planned last minute. I planned last minute, I should probably say. I've kind of forced this upon Scott um, today. Yes, which I don't mind. It's quite an interesting idea. Uh, the idea is uh, we are playing two different games, but the same route. Yes. If that makes sense. I'm playing in regular old train simulator 2022 railworks whatever you wish to call it and meanwhile jack is playing on I, train sim world 2 yes i am on the questionable um at best railworks 2 um yeah it's uh, it's interesting if you've played if you play train sim world 2 you know um you know what i mean by the word questionable um but, like Scott said, we are doing the same route. I can't get my chair to fall. Oh, God's sake. There you go. Um, we're doing the same route because the route in question was on sale for me. I hadn't owned it on my PC. Oh, yeah, I've got a new PC. And you've got a new graphics card. We probably should have mentioned that at the beginning, shouldn't we? Yes. Well, I also have a new PC because my old one has now been semi-retired uh, something I forgot to mention in the update video is I'm also looking at doing emulators like PlayStation emulators Nintendo to do that variety of games which I normally wouldn't ever be able to be covered and whereas my laptop instead of being retired has been thrown in the skip and replaced with a gorgeous gorgeous something PC but it has a 3070 Ti graphics card in it which is a beast and it has uh, stuff little mice that run around in the system to make it work but it runs much smoother and it is so much better um, so from my point of view expect racing games to feature mostly over on my channel as well as my railway vlog series Right. Uh, we are racing on the because uh, we haven't mentioned what route we're doing yet. No, we have. Remember haven't. professionalism. There's no. Pro yes, there was professionalism. I haven't. <laughs> I don't know how to set my train up. Help. Oh no! I've got it. It has been. It has been two years since we have done dual recording like this. <laughs> so it's been a bear while. with us. It's been a while. There may be a lot of editing in this one. Just, just. Yeah, please bear with us. Um, it has been a very long while. We, but professionalism. We're doing the Isle of Wight. Yes. Uh, which is uh, the, somewhere I really want to visit. I really want to go and visit the Isle of Wight, and I probably will do at some point this year. Um, but like I say, this is the route that was on sale, and I didn't own it, so I thought let's do a race on this route. So the idea behind it is to see how long or if there is any difference uh, going from A to B like time wise because for those of you that don't know in Train Simulator 2022 Railworks it's mile for mile minute for minute if the game says oh it'll take you an hour to traverse from A to B 
if you stick to the speed limits it will take you an hour in real time theoretically However, train sim world 2 is the same but is it and that's what we're going to test tonight um and also just for the record off camera um i didn't know because of the way that the routes and the way that the um timetables work on the islands i didn't know whether i was going to be needing to stop at smallbrook junction um, turns out i do so we are stopping at smallbrook junction tonight yes this will be an all station stop uh stopping passenger service if you like um and in terms of what we're driving i have no choice you have multiple choice <laughs> well i'll uh, let you introduce yours first so i'm gonna have to be quick because my service is about to start apparently um if we delay it oh well sod it um i am driving the old 38 tube stock i believe it is um in weirdly network southeast livery that's something that we will come on to as we go down the route i'm, I'm imagining um but yeah 38 tube stock and uh, it's glorious meanwhile I've start. I've my camera position is at the back of my train, and I'm going to start strolling up towards it. Well, I say strolling, uh, juttery camera work, mouse and keyboard. Uh, I've got three Armstrong Powerhouse Mark ones in the lovely blood and custard. Best oh. and the best Mark ones. Mm. And at the front, I have a livery appropriate. Uh, Victory Works A1 Terrier in the Isle of Wight livery because this is one of the Terriers that would have worked on the Isle of Wight railway in the days of steam so it's steam versus electric off the line at least I think I'm going to have the advantage but this is more of a this isn't so much of a it is a race um but it's more just seeing how accurate route is and whether or not basically i want to see whether this train symbol 2 route has been ripped from a game that's how many years old now uh well i have no idea how old the actual isle of wight route is uh from uh yeah uh Trends in 22's uh, perspective is. I mean, people in the comments will be telling us. But they'll be typing it up now. I can see it. I can see them typing it up. Uh, i I just probably put it as uh, header text. I lock the doors. Um. So I, uh, I apparently leave at 10:50. So I leave in about a minute's time or so. All nearly ready. Oh, do Such a thing. Have lights. Have lights on. Light. And I have just come across a small problem. Go on. Because it has been an absolute while since I have driven the Terrier, I've just gone to fill it up with water because uh, it's been burning it off like bloody mad while we've just been sat in station I probably should have had the game on pause at that point I've just realized that I'm gonna be coming up at some point on the uh, audio on the recording um, I have my sort of, um, basically I have my numpad set up as my for my various cameras and stuff when I eventually start streaming and I accidentally clicked one which turns the webcam on so I was on screen briefly you can probably edit that out if you wanted to uh, well I can certainly have a try at editing out <laughs> it's been a long time it's such a long time since we've done this I, I have got uh, I've got 15 seconds until I depart Right, when you start departing, I shall uh, set off as well. I hope my water situation improves. Brakes are off. 
Because if it doesn't, I'm going to be in the shit. I am departing. Right. My window down. So we are going to be sticking to the speed limits. Which will be... Are we? Well, it's going to be interesting because between... I don't know what your speed limit is after you depart um, Esplanade Station, but in this it's 20 miles an hour. Now I have a funny feeling that in the train simulator world it's a bit more than that. Uh, well it's 20 up until Ride Esplanade. And then is it 40 after that or 45? Uh, I haven't a clue, it hasn't come up yet. That could be something that maybe actually benefits you, because I'm going to have to stick to 20 mile an hour. Um, it's also been a little while since I've driven this um, type of Well, it unit. might be a bloody benefit if... Uh... Yes, this, <laughs> this isn't going well. My water is... Shot. Where's the fucking... Is that just the only water tap it has, or...? I mean, they are one of the smallest locos. They don't have that many controls on the uh, Terriers, do they? that much water anyway. How much was their water capacity? Not that much, if I remember rightly. Uh, just shy of 500 gallons. And it's not going down, so I assume I've got a water tap to... Uh, oh, bollocks, and I've, I've stopped short of the station. Well, I am just leaving Esplanade now. Oh, that's all right. Then I can. Changing over the points. About to head into the tolls. So both of us are actually driving something that you won't see on the Isle of Wight anymore now because the unit that I'm driving has been retired and replaced by much, well I say much newer tube stock, 1970s tube stock, been revamped. Um, and in fact the only place you'll see your loco is on the Heritage Railway. Right. Which that is not included in the Train Sim World 2 version. Why? I can't work out, but it's not included, for some reason. Right, after Ride right St John's Road, it is 45. Okay, so that's accurate then, so... Both on par then, at the moment. Um, In fact, I must admit, I've been doing a slight amount of speeding, because I'm still trying to figure out all my fucking controls and why the water is not working. Okay, I'm going slowly up this hill, and I don't know why I'm going s But full power, is there a gradient? We have 0.6 gradients. So let's explain why I was going slowly. If you manage to win this with water issues, I will be quietly impressed. That's kind of the thing I don't think I am. The only other thing that you that you will actually gain from Slight, you've got no other services on your route, have you? It's a custom, custom scenario. Well, I've got the quick drive what's it? hang on. Uh, oh, I better not go into the map because Ride St. John's coming up. I might also have to stop for the sake of my bloody steam pressure. It is shot. Just pulled in to 
on the road. Yes, can we? I'm just pulling in now, so I'm not too far behind. If this game didn't have so many bugs, amazing. It looks amazing. This game. Yes, it's a game for anyone who is out there saying, "Oh, it's a simulator." No, it is a game. Simulator is. We don't. Don't discriminate. Too. And the simulator also means we can uh, feel like the heat and all the rest of it. Like we're just sat behind computer screens here, so yes, there is no. You know, if this was on my laptop, that's now in the skip. I would be able to feel all the heat coming from the laptop. <laughs> um, and I'd be able to hear the jet plane noises that it would make <laughs> as it uh, as I did anything on it. This uh, this one, there's a bit of heat, not too much heat. A bit. Um, it's not the quietest system in the world, but then it's... It's not, like, low-powered or anything. It's quite a high-power system, so... Expect a bit of noise from it. Saw a chap running down the uh, running down the, um, the stairs towards my train. I bet he wanted to catch it. Oh well. Right. I right left. I'm still in the twenty. Where are you now? Uh, I'm just leaving now. Okay, so we're about even then. A little bit ahead, but yeah, I'm probably going to have some AI services to um, to contend with. In fact, I'm actually going to have to stop at the red signal. I was in the wrong forward gear, that's why I was going so slowly. I'm going to have to stop. Yeah, I'm going to have to stop. I've got no steam pressure. Got another AI service that's going to be coming up, apparently. Oh, no, it's gone green. What? Oh, because the service is going fast. Oh my god, I'm going to take it fast. He stopped there. Yeah. I, I've had to. Too much brake on there. Well, uh, this. Oh no, there's the. Tell you what, then, while you're building it, your pressure, I will stop here and we will have a look around Smallbrook. Yeah, so you can actually walk through weirdly onto the Heritage Line platform. Okay. And it has like the Heritage Line, uh, the building. But you can't do anything else with it. It's really so bizarre to realise I'm about 30. Oh, wrong tracks. I'm about. A minute or so behind the schedule. So. Can you imagine if the driver literally in real life was effed off onto the steam railway? <laughs> right now, solve the solve the proper trains. I'm going to go. Well, I suppose the steam railway is proper trains. Um.
How's your pressure doing? Uh, still not great. I'm going to have to nurse it. I've just left Smallbrook now on the way to braiding. scenery on this is not too bad. I suppose it should be really on this route because it's only like an eight mile route or something like that. Uh, yeah. It's not long at all. As I go into the outside view. Talk quickly about this network southeast um, thing. I can't actually remember why they did network southeast. I think they said that they just wanted to do network southeast. Um, but it isn't the most accurate thing for what they, um, the most accurate livery uh, for how these locos this unit finished on the, uh, on the island. Something balls of fire. Apparently. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Someone can tell me in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. Actually, no, probably not. No, maybe if you do know what about balls of fire, keep it to yourself. Cool. Right, I have started moving again, by the way. I've opened my door. There you go. The just departing Smallbrook, or did you actually make it to Smallbrook? Oh, I didn't even make it to Smallbrook. I uh, I had to stop outside of uh, St. John's. Oh, God. Okay. You're now probably a full step where well, you're a station behind them. Yes. Do you reckon we should call this video, like, the pilot video or something like that? <laughs> uh, it would probably be called by uh, the ret Oh my Christ! I'm speeding massively. <laughs> I didn't. I'm doing 49 and a 40. Oh my God! Realize <laughs> the speed limit change. Go on. So what's it gonna be called then? The uh, the uh, fails. Ra yeah, race mishap or something of that description. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oh, you can do like lean out view. I didn't know how to do that. Right, I am 800 yards from braiding. Have another look around. Uh, this is going to do my uh, steam usage no good, but I've got to have both water injectors on. I've just got to. Oh no, that's a 20. Right, I'm just coming up to Smallbrook now. I'm just coming into braiding, so yeah. Station behind. Yay, my water level's finally going up. Alright, fine, I'm gonna start stoking your blasted back end. This is how you do, this is how we do races. We literally just, last minute preparation, no idea how to drive the locos in question, and we just go for it. And yet it never used to blow no, it like that. It did. <laughs> that was because we had more time to prepare last time. Well, yeah, I mean, we were in the days of college it was easy <laughs> enough to back in them days when it was uh, when it was easy easy to uh, plan this stuff raiding station may as well I'm a full station ahead oh bollocks I hadn't stopped Smallbrook well I suppose oh I can go up to the signal box Really, I'm just running around all the stations on this. 
this is the one thing I like about this uh, this game. And actually just basically F off from your train and just wander around the stations. Uh, okay. Please tell me that's not what I've just seen. Oh, thank God for that. Wasn't. It's alright. There's there's an AI train, a class 483 down at Sandown. But Sandown's a... Uh, yeah, it's two a passing station. Point. Speaking of which, that's my next stop in 1.8 miles. Um. Sorry, I, I was thinking of Invincible again. <laughs> I was thinking, don't know. <laughs> Flashbacks to... Uh, oh, that was... I remember those. Yeah, did they patch? I think they patched that out, didn't they? Um, I don't know. Maybe that's a future test. <laughs> did they patch out Invincible crashing into you after Sandown? Because I, I swear, like, sometimes I've driven from Shanklin down to Ride Pierhead. I don't get it. But I'm pretty sure there's been a couple of occasions where I've gone to, yeah, just bomb it down from Shanklin down to Ride Pierhead, and the little bastard when is always like there. a certain loco, something like, is it a certain loco combo triggers it or something? I don't, I can't remember even now how it was triggered. I, I have no cause idea. I remember because, well, back in the day, because you used to play, you started playing this before. Um, I did, so I was making all these discoveries about it you that you already knew. I think, did I come into college one day and said, I've had this crash, and I've crashed, you know, this loco crashing, you like, yeah. Uh, no, even further back, uh, we were still in secondary or high school, whatever was you want to call it. Was it that far back? Oh my god. Yeah, we were in the library. Yes, oh, I remember, yes. And, um... Yeah, yeah, because it was yeah, because I started on twenty, ooh, twenty twelve or twenty thirteen, I think it was, and I can remember buying it on disc. Do you remember when games came on discs? <laughs> <laughs> Just the mate. <laughs> that was uh, they. They were the days when you had to buy. I think actually no, because um, I think the latest flight simulator, um, that had a disc version which was like 10 discs apparently blimey i mean i don't know about you but my my computer now doesn't actually have a disc drive no <laughs> i was i was thinking about it because i do want to uh, buy and import uh, dvds uh, but they're on region 2 we're region 1 for Okay. Oh yes, because we're British, you see, and we have to have it as a slightly different region. Why? I don't know. Um, oh, I've got no. Re oh, that's going. I think I'm gonna have to wait at, Sh at Sandown for another train, possibly. Um, but yeah, mine, mine didn't even come with the option to fit a um, disk drive um, from the right. I think if I'd have gone to a different company, I think I could have done. Um, but I'd have had to spend like probably like an extra hundred quid um, on yeah. top of it, which, considering uh, I have a, I have a PlayStation as well that can play discs, I didn't feel it was necessary, really. Um, although, funnily enough, actually, this um, PC has now made my Xbox obsolete. Oh right, um, <laughs> completely because I. Um, I had a one uh, a one S, and I traded it um, in for the Series S because at the time it was looking unlikely whether I was going to get the computer or not. Um, and it's a really good console, but unfortunately the PC to my right is now about three times more powerful, and I can play all the games on my Xbox on this PC. So it's like. Just, it's just there. <laughs> I don't want to do with it. I'm. 
Right, I, for the first time ever, I have managed to do 40 mile an hour. However, I am coming up to braiding. I'm half a mile away. Great. Okay, I'm at sundown. And I'm having to wait. Well, no, I'm not anymore, apparently. Okay, so I don't get that. So I had to wait, apparently. Um, so apparently there was nothing coming. If I see now an AI train, I'm going to be very annoyed. It was red until I <laughs> until I came to the signal. It was like, nah, go through. It's happening again. I'm getting the flashbacks in the opposite direction. I'm going to check that. I'm a bit nervous. Right, okay, so I've somehow managed to miraculously solve my water problem. Apparently, by the looks of it, I was using the wrong injector. Ah. Yeah, that can help. <laughs> using the uh, using the right injector. Which were you using there? The drivers. That drivers is normally the live steam injector. Uses water uh, steam straight from the boiler, but apparently no, it's the fireman's one I needed. You got? Have you got the uh, manual <laughs> as well? You agree? Could you imagine if it, like, like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And just read a, a tra steam train driver just reading the manual as he's going down the uh, pulls into <laughs> the station. Now I know what I'm doing. Pulls out a manual. Now what does this lever do? Right. I am 500 yards from Lake. Right, I have now properly stopped at breathing. I probably should let people out. Yeah, considering that some of them might have wanted to go to Smallbrook Junction. Um, yes. <laughs> they, they've got, just point them back in the direction. That way. <laughs> it's about half an hour walk. I think Lake is probably the most boring station on the entire line. It's a single platform. No building. No, there is a shelter. That's it. This get down to Flynn. Doors. Rolling back. This. Do you have any idea how many miles overall you've got? Uh, I've got a mile left. What, until you're in Shanklin? Yeah, yeah you've uh, beaten me. Because I'm two and a half miles behind you. <laughs> yeah. Your water stop didn't really uh, didn't help. And the stops that I thought I was going to have to make, um, I didn't have to in the end. <laughs> I suppose this is what I get for because the Terrier isn't one that I drive very often. It's also an interesting one to run with three carriages because they aren't the most powerful. I think that might be my problem as well. I need to see if I've got the uh, AP carriage pack as well because I think that did suffer a problem with the brakes, like oh, the vacuum a brakes. lot of locos. Yes. Yeah, 
that I tried to find that patch and I can't actually find it. I don't know where it came from. I thought it was. It, it came from Armstrong Powerhouse themselves and then uh, it got incorporated automatically into the next update. Oh, okay, so I. Because I've only just updated. Uh, well, I've just only just installed everything back onto Train Simulator anyway, so. Um, yeah, if you've like re downloaded it from Armstrong Powerhouse or you had an email to say, oh, we've updated this and get the latest one, that sort of thing. Well, I had to do everything. I had to, because obviously I didn't transfer anything from my old laptop um, to this, so I literally had to download um, all the games again, Train Simulator, all of the groups, all of the add ons. Anything like there's still some stuff I haven't done now. There's a lot of digital traction stuff to do. I've done everyone all bar uh, a lot of the reskins, so like blast pipe productions stuff and oh yeah, all the UKTS stuff. The manual is going to have to have a thorough once over for the bleeding terrier. So I made it to. Uh, Completed. It took me 29 minutes and 31 seconds to do that run. miles driven and I walked 718 yards from Sandbag, but uh, it's a 1 in 77 gradients and it just about killed my engine. So I am I made it, I'm here. Um, I will be lucky if I can get it up the bank. Oh dear, uh, this, uh, this was a good idea, it just hasn't, hasn't worked. <laughs> I'm, I'm currently chucking sparks and embers out of the bleeding chimney. I think it wants me to Where's the sander? I think it wants me to do this next service. I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. You can't make me. No. Where's the seat button? Oh, I sound like a madman. Where, where is the... I'm opening all the doors, I can't... <laughs> yeah, I'm rolling back. <laughs> right, I, I I, think we're gonna... <laughs> she kinda make it, Captain. <laughs> she kinda do it. <laughs> she got no pressure. <laughs> I think we're going to have to call it there, regroup, and come back for the proper first episode. Just consider this the bonus one. This is the return. We're breaking ourselves in. The next one will be more professional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got no boiler pressure. Everything's maxed out. Max forward gear. Open the regulator bloody wide. And it's like, no. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, Dave. I cannot do that for you. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. I think we should just call it there and we'll come back. Next time, we're not going to do this again because this was a stupid idea. Next time, you can come up with the idea. <laughs> it was a good idea. It just didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear. <laughs> right. End it. Let's get this cut. <laughs> right, I'll uh, I suppose I better do the outro <laughs> then. <laughs> right, I've, after that uh, humorous disaster <laughs> we shall say that is a uh, We'll, we'll call that the, uh, yeah, I'm definitely calling it the race mishap or the race mess about, whatever. I mean, race fuck about is also probably a good word as well, but uh, <laughs> oh, it will be better next time. I, I promise we'll be better next time. <laughs> so, yes, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed the video. It's uh, certainly been quite humorous for me and I hope it's been humorous for Jack as well. Yes, 100%. <laughs> oh dear. This has been fun. I've enjoyed it. Can't wait for the next one. Really can't wait for the next one. Yeah. So remember, if you like the video, leave a like. Uh, subscribe as well if you feel like it. And we shall see you in the next video. Bye. So long. Bye bye.